Okay, I get it. Most people are interested in the idea of a smart home, but not everyone wants to learn YAML, coding, and the inner workings of a Raspberry Pi just to get something like Home Assistant up and running. Sometimes people just want to be able to set up their smart home devices, create a few automations, and well, just let things run, right? I mean, simple. But trying to find this simple solution, it's actually harder than you might think. At one point, I would have recommended something like SmartThings. But there's just too many limitations. Reliance on the cloud, slowness, and, well, not to mention the bias towards Samsung. So, I think, I think I may have found my new favorite all-in-one device. It's simple to set up and use, but it just happens to have some superpowers hidden in the background. If, and only if you're interested in using them. All of this is wrapped in a touchscreen device that just works right out of the box. Just as easy to set up as your phone. Honestly, anyone could do it. Sound like a device that you or someone you know would be interested in? Well then, what if I told you that device, that tablet display, simple home automation along with the secret superpowers was less than $200? Interested? Why don't we take a look today at the Intelligent Super Gateway? Or as it's better known, the ISG from Link and Link. Every time I have friends over, they love to see the party tricks that come along with smart home automation. Could be motion or timers or maybe a quick call to the voice assistants that are going to dim the lights perfectly as we sit down to watch a movie. And of course, bring them back up automatically when we pause the film. There's always someone that says, how did you do that? Followed by the question, how can I do that? But listen, about 30 seconds into my explanation, their eyes gloss over and I pretty much lost them. Well, I finally found the device that's simple. No code, no YAML, no intense setup. Just pull it out of the box, plug it in and start adding devices. Even doing that is, well, simple. You see, the ISG boots up like a simple tablet, mostly because it's based on an Android tablet and it boots right into the main home automation interface. On its first boot, you're gonna be asked to create an account, which you can do right on the device or you can install a companion app and you can do it on your phone. Now, if like me, you go this route, all you need to do is scan the QR code presented on the ISG display from the app on your phone to link the two and log you in. And that's it. At this point, the device, it's all set up. It's running. It's ready for you to add devices. Let's look at this first and then I'll talk about the superpowers. The ISG supports tight integration with Link and Link, Broadlink, Aquara, and Tuya-based devices. As well, it's got support for Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Matter, and standard web cameras. All of this right out of the box. Not to mention the devices that you can add using those superpowers I was talking about. And by the way, they're powered by Home Assistant. It's invisible and it's hiding in the background. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, listen, let's start with Tuya. Tuya is built into so many devices these days. From these simple, inexpensive outlets from Atree, they come in packs of four for about 20 bucks on Amazon. To the portable air conditioner I use right here in my office. Light strips, remote controls, thermostats, you name it, and there's a Tuya device for it. And to be honest, adding these to the ISG is even simpler than Home Assistant because of the tight integration. All you do is select Add Tuya Device, power the device, and let the ISG find it locally. Once it does, it's going to ask you for a name and what room you want that smart home device to be located in. With that, it's added to the dashboard and it's ready to be controlled. Adding additional devices is just as simple. So, simple setup, check. Adding simple devices, check. What about automations? Well, these are fairly simple as well. Click the plus sign to add, give the automation a name, pick a trigger. This can be, say, time-based, or it could be triggered by a device, say, some motion, or by a value, possibly when the temperature goes below or above a certain value. Or you can just run it every X minute or even days. So it's easy to set up something simple like turn off my outdoor lights every day at midnight. And you keep hearing the word here, simple. And for the most part, that's what we're looking for, right? But the problem with most all-in-one smart hub devices are the limitations. You can start simple, but as you learn or you expand your smart home gadget collection, Ultimately, you're going to find yourself wanting to add a device that's, well, not supported. Or you might want to create a more advanced smart home automation, and typically, you're just out of luck. But like I said, this seemingly simple ISG device, it has an instance of Home Assistant running in the background. It syncs back and forth with the ISG. So adding devices like we just did to the ISG, well, it seamlessly adds them to Home Assistant and vice versa. If you find a device the ISG does not support, simply select the Home Assistant icon under settings and you're presented with the Home Assistant interface. From here, add your device 
and then return back to the ISG. Click New Device, choose Home Assistant as your service, and poof, you can now add the device that you just added to Home Assistant to the ISG. And if you find working on the tablet difficult, you can also log into the Home Assistant web interface from any computer on your network. So if you want to create a super complicated automation that the ISG just can't do, simply log into the Home Assistant, create it there. But like I said, until you hit the limitations or you want to learn more, you don't even need to worry about Home Assistant. It's just hiding there, invisible in the background. The ISG display comes with a 10 inch 1280 by 800 inch touchscreen, quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage. There's also an expansion slot for adding storage through an SD card, as well you can add a USB Ethernet adapter. It comes complete with a USB 2.0 type A USB slot, as well as a micro USB 2.0. Wireless protocols are Zigbee 3.0 and Matter. Now let's talk about a few more features. The ISG natively integrates with your favorite assistant of the Google or Amazon variety, even Apple HomeKit. Again, super simple setup. You also have the ISG app we installed back during setup. This allows for remote access to control your home, but don't forget about the superpowers because if you wanted, you could set up Home Assistant remote access as well. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm not gonna use the ISG. I'm happy with my setup of Home Assistant. I've been using it for way too long, but I have a technology background. It's what I do every day. But what I am gonna do is recommend the ISG to my friends and family knowing that they can get all they need out of it because it's simple. And if and when they hit the limits, I can jump in and help them get past them using Home Assistant. I've never had this option before with any of the all-in-one smart hub options. I also want to mention a few other things. I've had this for a couple of months now. And the team at Lincoln Link, they've been squashing bugs and updating this device on a regular basis. They are really listening to their users and it has only been getting better. I also know that they're working on a light version of the device that can be installed as an app on other tablets, or I believe they are planning to sell a light version of the device itself if you want more tablets in your house that will connect back to the master one. This way you can control things from other rooms. And don't forget, you can always set up the Home Assistant dashboards as well, and you can install these on any tablet you'd like. Overall, it's simple, smart home automation device that can expand if and only if you are ready, which might be never, but knowing it's baked in from the start makes this a pretty special device. Now listen, I have all the information in the description below, along with a special discount code if you wanna pick one up. Let me know if you have any questions about the device. Toss your questions into the comments, leave a like if this was a helpful video, or listen, share it with a friend that might just like how simple this device is. And don't feel bad if they have some automation party tricks next time you visit them. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one.